So yeah, Steve, we really wanted to press the candidates one on one after this debate. We weren't given that option. We also were not allowed to sit in the room where this debate was happening. So we listened along with you at home. This first and likely only debate right here in downtown Raleigh as the campaign heats up. Joe Biden went way too far with the American Rescue Plan. That was a two trillion dollar unnecessary unnecessary spending plan. And off they went tonight here in Raleigh. The reality is Congressman Bud has aligned himself with somebody who is truly extremist. Sherry Beasley and Ted Bud duking it out for one debate before the November election. The race being watched closely nationwide with the balance of power in the U.S. Senate at stake. They're trying to legalize uh, recreational marijuana and encourage that for our young people. I think that's completely... Uh, the candidates to replace retiring Richard Burr were asked about a variety of hot button topics like abortion, the crisis of the southern border and inflation. It doesn't have to be this way. Congress really can take steps to lower prices. The Biden administration has made it hard, whether it's small businesses in downtowns or whether it's out on family farms. He's done everything to make it hard and Sherry Beasley would be a rubber stamp for those policies. Former state Supreme Court Chief Justice Beasley declined to say whether she would have voted for President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act if she were in office. Congressman Budd didn't say whether he would support a total ban of abortions after backing a federal plan last month to ban them after 15 weeks. Congressman Budd wants to be in between a woman and her doctor, and there is no place in the exam room for Congressman Budd. The debate lacked real fireworks, but we found out Beasley supports legalizing marijuana while the congressman is opposed. She stressed again that she is against the defund the police movement. The congressman, meantime, said Joe Biden is the president and he would accept the results of the upcoming election. What this is really about is you and your family and who will work for you. Joe Biden's policies are on the ballot and I'd like to bring a stop to that. And that's why I'm running to make your life better. And Congressman Bud will be out right here in our neck of the woods first thing tomorrow morning, 830 in the morning, knocking on doors, handing out flyers just south of downtown. He has two other events planned for tomorrow, one in Salisbury and the other in Lexington. We've also reached out to Sherry Beasley's people to see what she is up to campaign wise tomorrow. We'll post that at ABC11.com when we hear back. Stephen Amber, back to you. Yeah, an important chance for voters to size up the candidates side by side tonight. And uh, Josh, we need to remind everyone the election is coming up four weeks from Tuesday. Thanks.